now we come to one of the simplest simplest states of matter that is called the gaseous state the gaseous state the gaseous state okay we uh, we have seen while studying geography that that the life is possible where where the lithosphere and the hydrosphere and the atmosphere they intersect okay and 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 all our life we are immersed in in an envelope of air some part of which is oxygen which is quite essential for us to 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 for, for our breathing and hence for our living <coughs> but but this is i'm saying simplest states of matter simplest state of matter since the intermolecular forces forces in gaseous state is negligibly small okay you'll also see later when we go to thermodynamics especially the 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 physics thermodynamics that a gaseous thing is used for energy transfer so what do we do we take in we take in air air and since it is composed of 22% oxygen oxygen is already there and and we spray fuel in that in a cylinder and then we burn that fuel okay the resulting expansion of air air converts that 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 chemical energy into a mechanical energy and that's what we harness in ic engines internal combustion engines okay so it becomes an important state for us to study the gas state fine and and at the normal temperature and pressure there are only about 11 elements which are gases right so at 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 stp okay so under normal conditions only 11 elements 11 elements are gases and which are they one of them is hydrogen which lies to the to the left of the periodic table and then 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 here i have got helium at this end right then what lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxy oxygen nitrogen oxygen no some of them are hmm so so fine so so hydrogen and helium and then you come to come to this so so this is neon and this is fluorine and this is oxygen and this is nitrogen so nitrogen oxygen and hydrogen they are in your atmosphere okay no atmospheric air does not have fluorine maybe some factories are releasing it that's a different matter altogether but otherwise the normal composition does not have fluorine and then you have a, a, a fluorine okay and then argon and then 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 you have you have 
क्रिप्टन जेनॉन एंड क्रिप्टन जेनॉन एंड एंड रेडॉन सो सो दे आर दीज आर द ओनली वंस अदरवाइज से एट फाइव थाउजेंड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एवरीथिंग वेपराइजेस सो सो वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट फाइन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अबाउट NTP or STP. Now there are certain simple things which we have been studying through and through. The the characteristics of gases are are first of all what characteristics are that the volume. and the shape is not fixed okay the shape for a liquid is not fixed but its volume is fixed why do we say so because liquids are incompressible okay so maybe 1 liter of liquid even if you put it under some cylinder and try to compress it we have seen due to the repulsive intermolecular forces they do not come any closer though liquid is a bit more compressible than the solid still both the solids and liquids we consider incompressible okay fine so and why is the volume not not the same because you apply some pressure on to on to a gas and its volume changes very fast okay its volume changes very fast okay so so it's highly compressible so gases are highly compressible compressible and they exert equal pressure in all directions you'll soon understand when we we do the kinetic theory of gases why that happens because what is it that is applying pressure on the walls of a container of a compressed gas for example your lpg cylinder its probability of 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 getting cracked from any direction is the same why because you later understand that these molecules they are very light and the way they exert pressure on the wall is is quite different okay they do so because of of their because of no what happens they are in continuous motion they go hit the wall of the container and come back okay it is that which actually exerts pressure and the the randomness of the gases the way they are moving all the in all the directions they are moving with equal speeds and equally random so at any point of time the number of molecules hitting this wall will be equal to the number of molecules hitting that wall in an enclosed container why because if that is not the case it means that the gaseous molecules are getting collected at one end of it and there is no cause for it okay otherwise there will be a windy kind of movement inside the container which is absolutely uh, causeless there, there there is there is no cause behind that why should it do that okay so so due to this randomness they they exert equal pressure in all directions it will become very very clear when we actually study the kinetic theory of gases in physics okay so they exert equal pressure in all directions due to gaseous molecules due to gaseous molecules hitting moving 
in all directions with equal speed you'll also later come to know that the speed itself is dependent on temperature okay their speed itself is dependent on temperature so if you increase the temperature the speed goes up if the speed goes up the pressure goes up do you agree in a pressure cooker kind of thing you heat up the content the gases expand so much so that there is a small dead weight at the top so 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 that that kind of gets lifted up okay why is that happening due to the increased velocity okay so they exert equal pressure in all directions then they have much lower density than the solids and liquids they have much lower density they have much lower density than the solids than the solids or liquids why because they are so far apart okay they are so far apart and due to their high speed the gases mix mix continuously the gases mix evenly in all directions in all proportions without any external aid without any mechanical aid now there is something that is really wonderful right what happens I, even in a liquid it does not happen so okay so when 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 uh, and this is a chemistry jargon when when i say it is miscible something is miscible it means it mixes in in all proportions okay but we say it is soluble then it is not necessarily miscible it dissolves but to an extent so miscible means we can dissolve how much how much ever hmm. it will mix later what will happen those things which are soluble they have they have a point beyond which they will not mix okay that is what solubility is but in gases so gases are miscible under all circumstances okay there will be no portion so they will never form a saturated kind of solution and why so because of huge gaps between them so that some other gas molecules can come in and occupy those vacant spaces right due to why without mechanical aid due to high velocity of their own due to high velocity of their molecules due to high velocity of their atoms and due to high velocity of their atoms and large space between the and large space between the atoms so if we have 10 moles of water we can mix 40 40 moles of oxygen in that no i didn't get you what if we have 10 moles of water mm -hmm. we can mix 30 or 40 moles of oxygen 30 or 40 why what 30 or 40 why Why forty? It's like that. When we say it's miscible, it, in all proportion it can be mixed. Miscible is not forming a compound. Mind it. No, no. I'm saying water. Mm -hmm. Like in sea water, there is oxygen. Uh, But when did I say that ox uh, sea uh, oxygen is miscible in sea water? I'm saying gases are miscible with each other. Oh, miscible with each other. I'm not saying with water. The gases mix evenly. gases mix with gases i'm not saying gases mix with liquids or solids okay fine
Now, due to this fact, the, the, the simplicity and which arises out of, out of the intermolecular forces being negligibly small, okay? This, this led to many of the properties which were derived by experiments, which, which, were, which were arrived at by experiments, okay? So, so we'll look into those properties, how and what they are.